It's one of those stories of, uh, of chance, really, in that I was uh, uh, giving a lecture, and I lecture in Bristol, and uh, someone in the audience was from Orbis in, way back in 1993, and uh, they invited me to, uh, uh, to join Orbis as a volunteer surgeon. And I thought manna had fallen from heaven, wonderful opportunity, and uh, I've been with them ever since. My first project was in 1994, um, which was in Khartoum in Sudan. And uh, uh, so I've been with them, I've been working with them now uh, for 17 years. That when that aircraft flies in to uh, a country wherever it may be, whether it's Ethiopia or the Sudan or Zambia uh, or Vietnam, wherever it is, we go to many countries, um, then uh, when that plane arrives, it causes an incredible stir and excitement uh, and it engages with people, it engages with politicians, it engages with doctors, so that uh, we find that that uh, our, our draw, uh, our ability to influence people, our ability to reach those poor people in the world who are blind and need our treatment uh, is, uh, is enhanced by, by, the, by the plane. Norbus International is uh, a worldwide non-governmental organisation uh, which is dedicated to the treatment and prevention of blindness in the developing world. There are 253 million people who are blind or visually impaired, and uh, between 80 and 90 percent of those live in developing countries. In 80 percent of those people, the blindness is either treatable or preventable. So it's a great mission. So that's, that's Orbis's primary objective. The Flying Eye Hospital um, and uh, Orbis's general objectives, the whereby we go about achieving those objectives, is in terms of teaching. So we believe that we, uh, that we should teach uh, in developing countries, doctors, nurses, how to uh, carry out effective treatment and surgery of uh, those conditions so that they can then carry on uh, themselves within their own countries to treat their own populations. Uh, relationship with uh, Amiga and with Daniel Craig is wonderful. Uh, it is uh, fantastic for Orbis because it, uh, it raises our profile, it associates us with a, uh, a wonderful worldwide country, uh, it associates us with Daniel Craig who is, is such a, a, an icon in the world. Uh, and, uh, and people such as uh, Daniel Craig can um, add such a lot to our message, they can reinforce our message and it'll reach people that we wouldn't otherwise be able to reach, both in terms of those people who are trying to reach us, those, those blind people and those unfortunate people who require our treatment, who hear about Orbis and who therefore seek us out, which is very good, but also in terms of those people who support us financially uh, and, uh, and therefore of which Omega is a very generous donor, there's no doubt about that, um, and therefore it enables us to carry on our work. If a society is burdened by blindness, it means that their, their economic viability is much reduced. Uh, and therefore, um, both for the, the, the fact that that person can't work, but also for the support structure they require in terms of people to spend time with them to, in order to allow them to survive. Countries, uh, not only our own, uh, uh, Western countries, uh, but also developing countries in particular, um, need to spend a lot of money on treating and preventing blindness themselves, uh, and particularly in treatment, and therefore blindness prevention is a very important part of what we do. If we can prevent blindness by working with other agencies, and indeed ourselves, to uh, instigate pro health programs that will actually stop people becoming blind, then that is, that is a great advantage, and that will change the economy of the country. It's not only helpful to their people, and, and uh, um, shows the, the people that that help is at hand, but is also very helpful to them, to their government, uh, because it, it demonstrates um, that they are prepared to engage with outside agencies in order to try to achieve their goals. It also, uh, they, can, they can demonstrate to uh, their colleagues, uh, both within their countries and worldwide, that they work with NGOs uh, hand in glove uh, in order to help the, the population at, at, at large, particularly in, in terms of the, the health questions that we, we are trying to engage with. Uh, and indeed the advocacy part of the work we do is extremely important because you can change government policy. So for example in Ethiopia um, we were able to change the policy, change the law in Ethiopia uh, regarding uh, corneal transplants so that uh, we we enabled uh, um, the uh, um, people to 
have corneal transplants in Ethiopia where previously it wasn't allowed. And indeed, the president of Ethiopia has uh, um, uh, pledged his eyes after death to, uh, to the project. So that's pretty fantastic. So you can change what governments do. You really can. When people watch this film, I very much hope that people will uh, gain a, uh, a sense of engagement with what we do, will identify with what we do, will be inspired by what we do, uh, and will be able to say, well, yes, I would like to do something like this, or would like to support this, and give of myself in some way, either professionally, or financially, or in terms of their time, whatever it may be, because I can assure all of those people that engaging with this, giving of yourself, there's nothing better in the world, I can assure you.